Hey, my name is Emu from Perth, WA. Um, my favourite art medium is spray paint, aerosols. I've been into the art since I was born. Just drawn towards it, drawing crayons, everything, drawing on the wall, and just seeing how much that can come out of it. Everyone needs art. It's like, it's a, it's a big part of life. Even if, yeah, people go about their daily jobs and stuff, but it's, it's a very crucial part. We need it. Seeing tags around Midland, seeing pieces, and uh, looking at the pieces, studying all the uh, local art, just being just struck by how that got done, wondering about it, thinking about it, and um, yeah, eventually you get, get a can in your hand and give it a crack. I told, I told myself um, that I wanted to master every aspect of it, so like straight letters, curvy letters, fades, texture, everything, trying to not just focus on the one side and get caught up, but like, have a broad, broad range of it, yeah. Be patient, have fun, like always have fun, that's important. Um, if your creativity isn't there and you're, and you're blocked up, then what's the point? If you're not being creative with it, you're just copying the generic stuff around. You really got to find your own part and, and yeah, have fun. And imagine, I reckon imagination is one of the key parts to it, yeah. Study your craft, put the work in, and you'll get a result, you'll get something out. If you want to do something, do it proper. Rush into it if you want, but there's method to the madness. Balance, balance. Finding the, um, finding the right states uh, of one to be in, the right time, and the public eye on the graffiti scene. The general uh, look, I'd say, of feeling that you get from the public towards graffiti, which I'd say is art. It's, yeah, it's vandalism, but there is an art aspect to it. It's, it's crazy. You have such a mix of people saying people saying they love it and people saying they hate it. The only really people that like really hate it and really chase you down, they just they just got a chip on their shoulder. I reckon. Like there is a time and place, but uh, some of it has to be appreciated, whether or not. Creative side to it, so like stretching it. I like really like having a having a letter, but trying to trying to branch it out. But even abstract art, like where you painting it. Like I do. Don't get me wrong. I really like uh, painting a a real good portrait, like perfect picture, picture perfect. But when you can do abstract shit as well, that's cool. I really like that. Like people think. Yeah, I really want to um, explore as much as I can. With my with my pieces and my, I want to try and get characters, really try and keep full backgrounds, everything. Just have have quality in it, put as much effort into it, and uh, I really like the organic looking letters uh, styles, and um, just thinking outside the box with it. There's a lot of a lot of writers out there that really do do different shit. That's what it's about doing doing your own stuff, making something original. Yeah, so the difference between graffiti and street art, in my opinion. Um, street art, you're getting paid for it. Like it's, you're getting paid murals. And there is that, that side as well where, why is his art allowed on the wall and my art's not? But it's very, very puts it in boxes. The, the, the graffiti, yeah, it's illegal. So there's no, no way around that. You're not, you don't own the wall, but you do when you claim it. So there's a very, it clashes, but it goes hand in hand uh, at the same time. It's, uh, it's a weird one. My thoughts on the aesthetic of Perth graffiti, it's world class. The history of Perth graffiti is fucking insane if you look into it. Um, some of the old school crews that have been around really, really pushed it. Um, I don't know, it's very full, it's very diverse. It is. Since I first started, I'm still, I'm still only getting there, I'm still only young, but I have seen quite a lot change has seen quite a lot of writers getting involved there's seems to be an uprising in graffiti at the minute and, and and street art just in that sense second piece from the end off top says settle down they never settled painted that one 2019 um the colors i picked i picked the uh, red and the blue fade um to try and about like have the the clash because they're like they kind of clash with each other but i really wanted to try and work with that and fade it in and have a balance to try to Try to just work the colours out. I just had fun with it, played with the letters. I, I really like. They're not, they're not normal letters. 
Knox. I really like his letters, the, the way they stretch out, um, the spots he hits, the colours, and, and I suppose that, that creative aspect to it, as well with the, the underground side, some real hardcore shit. Just big ups, big ups to everyone involved with this. Um, everyone in the scene, big ups to Zach's. And um, Leadable HQ here. And yeah, keep keep the art alive. Keep it fucking pumping. It's it's real, it's real worth it. Mm -hmm.